Hey, Dennis. Hey, JJ. What's going on? Hey, it's a great day and great evening. Hey, Jay. <laughs> all Good to right. be with you all. Yes. Oh, I see lots of us are joining already. And listen, tell us where you're from in the chat. And uh, it's great to have you, part two. And you could remind anyone that does not get on our live Zoom, they can follow us on Facebook, Market America Facebook. We're running live side by side. Great from Taiwan and Hong Kong. Welcome, Toronto. My goodness, all over the world, Maine, California. Australia, great, <laughs> yes, Calgary, love Calgary, all right, that's beautiful, you know, it's an exciting day, Andrew, uh, I'm glad we're back here, I mean, it's just been amazing how today went, and I saw that all the countries are launched, uh, I saw a lot of those yes. uh, posts going up, so I'm excited that from what you're learning, uh, you're able to go in and work with it and practice with it, uh how was your day my you know really it, it, you know same as yours then is it what was really exciting for me was texting with our partners and some of them have come up with some really creative ideas on how to utilize this tool and it were, everyone's really excited to get this going um so yeah the gr great things are happening with shop live Great. And JJ, your team has been going absolutely nonstop and getting things working uh, the way they should in every country and getting all the stores correct. Uh, and it's only better. It's only going to keep getting better. Yeah, uh, yep, absolutely. It's been great. We, it's certainly been a, a team effort of, of uh, literally you know, dozens of people. And uh, it's been it's been great to work with the entire Market, Market America team. And we're excited about this. It's now available. And uh, we're excited to spend some time with all of you tonight. Okay, great. Or this morning, if you're joining us from, from the Southeast Asia region, good morning to all of you. <laughs> uh, absolutely. Hey, you know, um, what we're going to do, everyone, is just we're going to do a quick review from yesterday, just so you know how this is going to run tonight uh, and this morning. We're going to do a quick review from yesterday and move into the next stage, which we talked about briefly towards the end and which we referred to as team attribution. And you are really really going to love what you're going to learn today. This is taking it to another level, but I want to reinforce what we talked about yesterday. Fundamentals, the simplicity, everyone can do this. And I just want to reaffirm that right from the beginning. And so, Absolutely. yeah. In uh, and, and, and Dennis, you know, yesterday, a great job, uh, everybody on, on uh, your participation and also Dennis on you leading up our shop life training part one yesterday. If you've missed it, that uh, recording is available on YouTube, Market America's YouTube channel, uh, as well as, uh, you know, it will be put into the learning center uh, once everything gets cleaned up. But um, today, welcome to part two. Like Dennis said, we'll do a very quick, very brief review. Don't worry if you, if you didn't catch everything the recordings are uh, going to be available. So uh, we're going to hit the ground running today. All right. I'm going to take over the screen and bring up the slides and get ready to roll Let's uh, do it. because it is that kind of morning, that kind of evening where we just can't get enough of everything that we're doing. So <laughs> Let's make it happen. So once again, the unfranchised marketing app, uh, Shop Live combination. My guest today, Andrew Chi, the Director of Field Development of Canada, our super millennial, National Supervising Coordinator and growing. And he has done a spectacular job, not only in the country of Canada, but also throughout the world. Uh, we absolutely love everything he's been contributing. Then we have JJ Oswald. He's the Senior Vice President of Sales of Verb Technology, superhero in my books, working with the technology and delivering such great information as applies to unfranchised owners. And my name is Dennis Franks. I'm the Executive Vice President of Sales. And I am committed to see you succeed with your unfranchised business. And it's so, so very important to me that you use these amazing tools to be able to build out the fundamentals of your business and become a BV and IBV machine. So let's jump into this and talk a little bit more about Shop Live. 
And let's just review what is Shop Live. And it is a virtual interactive live selling system. And it is the newest feature of our unfranchised marketing app. And I believe, as well as my team and all of the people that have been using Shop Live in the beta testing, it's an exceptional qualifying attraction to those individuals that you want to not only purchase products, but become part of your organization. And I want to remind you that this is all included in your subscription and renewal. You don't have to worry about cost because it's all part of your business. And I'll say this right now, we have spent a lot of dollars to get this to this level so that everyone 100% of all unfranchised owners around the world have access to this amazing tool with our unfranchised marketing app and now featuring Shop Live. Right, and that's, uh, th and that's why we wanna be able to take advantage of this right away. So here are a couple important reminders for everybody. If you have not already uh, done so, please go ahead and download the unfranchised marketing app from the App Store or from Google Play. Um, and if you already have the app, uh, it, it, you should be prompted to update it. For me, it did an auto update. I didn't have to click on anything, um, but it, 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 you'll know it's updated when the top banner says shop live and you've got the, the latest addition to, uh, uh, to the unfranchised marketing app. Thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that. And remember, all of us, remember this. And when you're talking to your team, the unfranchised marketing app plus shop live equals more sales, more possibilities and more partners. And, you know, when you take a look at everything that we're providing today, it's an exciting time for each and every one of us. Yeah, so here's a quick review of what the Unfranchised Marketing app uh, could already do months ago when it was first introduced. We could already share samples. Um, we could share digital content with tracking on whenever people viewed that digital content. And as we interact with the app and use it more, the reminder feed becomes very helpful to keep us in, uh, keep us up, uh, you know, keep us in memory of what we've done with it. So that's a, a feed that we all always want to be looking at and we also have the ability to manage our contacts just like um, you know just like going on Bumble or going on Tinder right for hot left for cold uh, and it's a cool very user-friendly way of organizing your uh, your contacts list. I really find that very handy to stay focused on the most important prospects. You know, so that's awesome. So again, Shop Live, just to give you an idea of what we covered yesterday, and we'll talk a little bit more about it in a moment. We want to create our Shop Live event, and you must be working from your desktop. Uh, that would be laptop, PC, tablet, and that's going to give you the ability of putting it all together. And you want to work off your browser on Chrome. It works best off of the Chrome browser. And then go to www.unfranchisemarketing.com and your shop live will appear. Now, for the first time, it may take 30 seconds to upload, but it will come up on your screen and bam, you're ready to go with your <laughs> shop live. Yeah. And, you know, it always works. Uh, it always makes a lot of sense to go in ahead of time and pre-select the products that you plan on promoting. Uh, on our, When we go live later on, you're going to see uh, JJ walk us through how to use the uh, how to use the functionalities, how to resize the products and set up new products on there. Uh, it makes a lot of sense to go in. I would recommend going a day or two uh, before your actual live presentation and set up these products in the exact placements you want them uh, to be so you're not fumbling uh, during the day of. Uh, three to six products is the recommended because the, you know we don't want to overwhelm uh, and crowd the screen. Yes, we have the ability to turn things off and turn them on again, but each, each session has a limited amount of time. Now, if you are presenting with a PowerPoint or video, be sure to have those on your computer loaded, loaded up and ready to go. Uh, I would advise against doing a, 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 uh, a download or a buffering or a stream uh, to show a video. I'd much rather we have the file on the computer so there's little to no lag um, as we talk through the uh, presentation. 
And, you know, so true. And the more that I've worked with this, Andrew, the preparation is a big part of it. So that's a big reason why you should practice a bit before you go live with the real prospects and with the team members that you're going to. I do want to remind everyone at any one time, your shop live will hold up to 250 attendees. Now, I want to remind you, I am not asking you to get 250 attendees on your shop live. It's been built for a smaller group, say two, three, four, five people that you can work with and be able to take very good care of because we are people who care about our customers and our clients going through the qualifying process. Also, each shop live will go a maximum of 60 minutes. So please be aware of your time when you're doing a shop live. I would really plan on a 45 minute uh, interaction that gives you at least a 15 minute buffer. And I do want you to know that you can have unlimited shop live meetings. I mean, one after another. And that's a beautiful thing about this service that's made it so strong and so appealing is that you can continue to do these in all of our majors as you go along. So let me talk to you real quick before I go live with JJ. There were a couple things that came in last night that I wanted to address. Somebody had said to me, Dennis, TikTok is easier to handle than Shop Live. Well, I just want to say this, maybe, but TikTok certainly doesn't pay commissions and certainly doesn't allow us to put our products on there and allow them to purchase from our own websites that we get immediate credit. So yes, are there other social platforms that may be easier? Yes, but they are not our business specific like we've done here with our unfranchised marketing app and shop live. Uh, the other things that you know, we've talked about, people have asked me about, will we be able to go with our nonprofit organizations? And I want to let everybody know, nonprofits are important to us, but it is not our priority at this time. The priority at this time for Market America and its unfranchised owners is to get each and every one of you earning that supplemental income that you have put out there in your goal statements and to drive your reasons why. That's the most important thing to us. So, Andrew, did you have anything that you wanted to bring up? Those two questions I wanted to come back. We didn't cover them last night. Yes, uh, you, you know, I'm glad you brought up that, that TikTok uh, question. We did have a couple of questions of, um, you know, are we able to run a shop live presentation uh, and restream it on Instagram or restream it on Facebook or restream it on YouTube? And the answer uh, to that is, uh, at the moment, we are not able to, uh, the answer is no, we are not able to do that. And here's the reason why, uh, as we go through this, the rest of the presentation this evening and the rest of the training, we'll see that we have the ability to, uh, to, to give out team attributions, meaning the right people will get credit for the volume of sale that's gone through, uh, regardless of who the presenter is. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, advanced technology that goes into that that simply isn't transparent transferable into Instagram or Facebook or YouTube's live streaming uh, because the, the interactions wouldn't work the same way. Um, but uh, having said that, the other recommendation is if you do have a strong following on YouTube or if you have a big following on Instagram, uh, there's nothing stopping you to go ahead and share your shop live link so that your followers can come on, be one of the 250 attendees that you have and view your shop live presentations as you're doing it. Fantastic. Thank you very much. So now I want to turn this over to JJ and let's go live. JJ, I'm going to share, stop sharing my screen and turn it over to you. Uh, I know everybody is excited to hear from you. Awesome. Well, let's get jump. Let's jump into this. I um, am going to cover some of the basic things that we did last night. Um, is my screen sharing okay, um, yes. Dennis? Yes. Phenomenal. So as a reminder, we want to, this is a web-based experience. And so if you're on uh, your laptop, your desktop computer, this is a great way for you to be able to launch the meeting. Simply go to unfranchisemarketing.com. 
And as a reminder, we want to encourage you to use Chrome to be able to host that presentation. Chrome is going to be is the preferred browser type when you're launching a shop live. Your guests that are attending the meeting, they don't have to use Chrome. They can open up the link on any device if they're on their mobile device and they, they want to use Safari or any other uh, browser, they can certainly do that. So when you come to unfranchisemarketing.com, you will go ahead and log in. You'll notice the login at the top right corner. Uh, as I log into this, this right here, that will then, after logging in, we're going to use the exact same username and password that you're used to using on unfranchise.com. Use that same username and password to access both the app as well as the this desktop experience. Once you log in, it will allow you, I'm going to quickly log in so you can see what that experience looks like. Once you log in, that will basically take you to the, the back end of the system, which will allow you, you'll notice a little button up here where it says go live. Uh, you can simply go live by clicking on that button. And it's those simple steps, unfranchisemarketing.com, log in, simply go live, and that's going to launch that meeting. As we move into the meeting itself, I am now inside of an actual shop live event. And I'm going to go ahead and just take you through a quick tour of some of the important tools that are part of this down here. So this is what you're looking at is actually a, what we call a presenter view. So for you, the, the uh, unfranchised owner is going to be able to see this experience as you're presenting inside of the shop live. Now, I'm going to start on the bottom left. This button here is going to show me all of my attendees. I can actually see the, any chats or questions that might be happening. What's also nice about this is this is actually, as I scroll through this, I can actually see what individuals clicked on different products throughout the meeting itself. So that's all visible to me. I also have this button here. This button is allows me to be able to share and copy my link. And so if I have somebody that might be texting me during the meeting, hey, can you shoot me over that link again? This allows you to click copy and then be able to share that quickly with somebody right when you're within the meeting itself. We also have the ability to share your screen. So if you have a PowerPoint presentation or something where you want to share your screen during the meeting itself, you can absolutely do that with this tool right there. And then of course I have my audio and video controls right here. Now, this is where the fun comes in, in, this, in this amazing tool is this interactive button right here. What this is gonna do is this is gonna pop out a window. Now this window that you see here is only visible to me, the presenter. My audience actually doesn't see any of this. Uh, what I have available to me are a variety of different interactions. Uh, I'll talk about these in detail. The shop link is going to access the entire product family that's available to you, the different brands that are available to you. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a minute. The media button allows you to be able to access the entire library of tools that are inside of the unfranchised marketing app. So if you wanted to share a video, maybe a PDF or a document that might tell more about the, the, uh, the products that you're sharing that evening, that allows your audience to be able to click on interactions there, including the sample offer. Andrew last night you know, kind of expressed the idea of being able to share the ability for people to request a sample during the time while they're inside of the meeting itself. You'll also have the ability to share social links. So if you wanna invite people to participate in a Facebook group, uh, that's a great way for you to be able to add a social button onto the screen. And then finally, I also can add my own respective links inside of the meeting. There's a variety of use cases that, you, that you'll find you know, very helpful uh, with this feature as well. Now, you'll notice, as we talked about before, um, we, we really recommend that you might have three to six products that you might pre-select in advance of the meeting. And so I'm actually going to show the products that I've actually pre-selected. These are in the added section. I've got Isotonics Daily Essentials. I've got Isotonics Magnesium. I have Ultimate Aloe. And all of these are pre-selected and already visible to me. So I wouldn't have to, about, <clears throat> I wouldn't have to worry about finding those during the actual meeting itself. As I go ahead and present, I might share a PowerPoint presentation, and now I'm actually ready to invite people to take action and to be able to actually click and purchase these products. All I have to do is simply turn on that button, and that will allow me to then point and allow people to be, be able to engage and purchase from those, those links right there within the meeting itself. This is really the power of what virtual live selling does. You have the ability for you to be able to present virtually, which we're all already doing, right? This is something that is not different than what you're doing every single day, likely. And I also have the ability to, you know, I can add a variety of different buttons on the screen. I do have the ability, if I wanna move these around, I can expand them the different size. So depending on the number of items that you have, 
Um, another tip that we talked about last night is you'll want to place these in the order where you want them to appear. So I pretend like I'm you know, in the meeting before the actual meeting and I'm preparing for the event. I can simply you know, space these about apart where I want to and then I can go ahead and just turn these off and end the meeting and now I'm prepped and ready to go live, okay? Other things that I wanna talk about, when we go into this shop feature, a couple of things that I wanna point out is that you have available to you all of these different micro websites that are available to you. So you're used to shopping from Isotonics, the TLS website, Motives, Lumiere, you also have Layered. Of course, you've got shop.com, which if you plan on, this is a, qu a quick reminder, if you plan on promoting a variety of different products during the, during the, the, during the meeting itself, you're gonna wanna steer them towards shop.com. This platform does not allow you to go into these different buttons, Isotonics, Motives, or TLS and grab different products. Again, if you wanna make sure that they can shop with one checkout experience, Make sure that you're only selecting products within one of these respective buttons. When I click on this, what this is going to do is this is going to load the entire family of products that's available to you within that brand. You'll see that I can select a category. I can select a subcategory. Um, if I'm looking for a specific you know, you know, a category of products, those are available. Then I just come in, I then select the product that I wanna add to the screen select publish, and then those would be available to me to be able to add to the screen itself. And so that's an important reminder is as you're going through this, that's how you're gonna go ahead and publish those to the screen. The other thing I wanted to mention, and I'm gonna go ahead and, and actually delete these products from the screen so I can go into another, another brand here. Within shop.com, you'll, you'll notice here, now I don't have any products that I pre-selected. If I wanna go into shop.com, what this is going to do is this allows me to be able to select multiple multiple different subcategories because there's such a large offering there, but we make it very simple. I can go in here and select the brand if I'm looking for uh, motives, for example. I could, I could click on motives. I can then select beauty and then a subcategory of that. So if I'm looking for you know makeup or eye makeup or lip products, that's now going to filter all of those products so that I can quickly, easily select the products that I want to add and then I can simply add them. You'll also notice that I have a search field that's available to me. I click publish, and then I have these products available to me that I can then click and drag and drop to the place that I want to have them for the meeting itself. So again, we wanna recommend that maybe you do this before the meeting starts, and then you can open this back up and then turn them off. And that's how simple it is to add products to the screen, those interactive buttons that are right there. So. That's it, Andrew and, and Dennis. I don't know if there's anything else that I didn't cover that you want me to touch on, but that's a quick overview of what we covered last night. Uh, may, maybe some helpful for remind, helpful reminders. Anything else we want to cover before we move on into team attribution? Right. Yeah. So very quickly, uh, there is the ability, uh, JJ. If you could pull up your interaction, um, your lightning bolt button. Um, there, mm -hmm. there, there was a question that came up in our training yesterday on part one. Are we able to share partner stores? Um, well, yes, we are able to share partner store information by selecting link. So we can, you know, link link off to whatever uh, we want. It could be. Uh, I would recommend to share the partner store uh, page um, where people could go, still go through your shop.com site. Uh, you could use link to uh, create links to share, um, you know, uh, to share to share chat groups, uh, to share a, uh, a, a WhatsApp chat group or a WeChat chat groups. There, there's links that can be generated for that. And that way you could support your customers if you do plan, um, uh, you know, on any group activity after uh, the shop life session. The other thing that I would like to add to that is the fact that through your media, you can put your samples up, which uh, is very important. I mean, that would be like a bonus, you know, for attending. Uh, that's how I see it to be used. So that if I'm talking about two or three products, if we don't get the purchases, you can have free sample and basically you just pay for shipping uh and handling and we'll get that out to you those are really powerful i also like the fact when i think about this tool jj is how it allows people really to build that foundation that base 10 that we mm -hmm. we push hard on to get that cash flow going and that repeat customer base 
This is something that every one of the unfranchised owners can do. This is something that you can work with your new partners that come in. Just absolutely love it. Uh, and again, I can't stress the fact that when you come in with this tool, work it with some of your teammates first before you go live with your new clients or potential clients as you go through it. Get a little practice in. I know in the beginning, Andrew, myself, Jim, uh, we all spent a lot of time. I didn't say a lot of time, an hour or two getting familiar. And I'm going to tell you what, everybody needs to do this because it's the best couple hours you can invest in yourself to be able to have this type of tool, JJ. I, I just think it's great. I think it's going to be an impact product for everyone. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why don't we transition now and talk about the ability for us to be able to empower our team members to be able to promote and share and participate in one of the lives that you might host. And what's great about this is as I'm presenting and I'm adding these buttons that you see on the screen, that allows even my team members to invite their guests and it still allows those guests as they place orders for that individual that invited them to get credit for those new preferred customer placed orders or maybe new team members that join you. So let's transition now. I'm actually gonna stop sharing my screen and we're gonna talk about team attribution and how you go about using, the, using this amazing technology to support your team members where they can really leverage you know, the, the presentations that you're already hosting. You betcha. Let's go ahead and move forward on this and talk a little bit more about team attribution and make it happen. All yeah. right. Speaking so, of which, so this uh, from here on out, this is all new information uh, continuing on from yesterday's uh, training. <laughs> so let's go. Team attribution. So as we look at this, what this is depicting is uh, a leader that's going to host their meeting. And as this, as this goes through, you'll notice this animation is going to highlight that she might go about and inviting her own guests to come to the meeting that she personally invites through the app. What's also great about this is she can also invite her own team members through the app to also participate in the meeting that she's going to host. So she's going to host the shop live, and this is depicting John, Sarah, you know, Jane, and Tim are all somewhere down within the organization that, that, that she's invited to also participate in the meeting. Now, what this means is that John, Sarah, Jane, and Tim invited their own guests through the app. It's an important reminder that that share process has to be through the unfranchised marketing app. And we'll show you how to do that in just a minute. And really, uh, you know, it allows for Jer John, Sarah, Jane and Tim, as they're, as they're highlighted here, to be a part of and participate in the shop live that that leader is hosting. Right. And, uh, you know, I couldn't help but notice, see under John, there's that two uh, people. Um, but what that means is John sends his link to his first guest his guests can then invite somebody else to join John, uh, John's link as well. Now that would be John's link, but John would not be the presenter. The presenter is still the leader. So they're seeing the leader present, but the great thing is that uh, whenever John's guest or John's guest's guest uh, clicks on that link, it will automatically bring them back to John's landing page and he gets credited all the volume uh, that goes through. The other thing that I love about this, and everyone, please take note of this. Imagine this, your organization, and you're looking to be able to get to that 5,000 business volume each week, and you want to strengthen a leg, an organization. This is where you're working with people within an organization to build that line of new customers, or if you're going to do a presentation on the business itself, this is how you're going to get massive growth by connecting the dots with your future leaders, with your go now on franchise owners, or even the stable and waiting can get excited about this. But you can see, Andrew, JJ, how this can stimulate growth in an organization. It's just perfectly targeted. <laughs> Absolutely. And, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, and also it doesn't matter if it's Tim or Jane or Sarah who invites guests on um, there. If they are, if they're inviting guests on through their app, using their link, 
they will always get the BV credited for it. But here's the beautiful thing about the 100%, um, you know, the 100% of 100% of 100%. This allows us to really maximize what our business was built for, and that is specialization and trade. We have, uh, you know, people in multiple different, um, you know, different lines of expertise. Guess what? Uh, if, if the leader is done uh, hosting a shop live on health and nutrition today, but uh, but John, it could be John's turn to be hosting a shop live on uh, on on weight management. It could be Sarah's turn to be hosting a shop live on cosmetics. They can all take turns, and each uh, they can all invite their guests to attend each other's uh, presentations as long as they are on each other's shop live teams, which is phenomenal. I get so excited when I see this because since we have no levels, we can invite any individual in that organization, you know, to join the team and be able to contribute that 100% of that <laughs> BV that's generated is just so powerful. God, I love this, JJ, way to go with the team. Yeah, yeah. Let's move on to the next slide, Dennis, and let's talk about the power of shop live and how to effectively follow up. So okay. after we end the live, there's some, there's some great data and reporting that's gonna be available to you both in the app inside of what we call the feed. So those of you that aren't familiar with the feed, the feed is found at the very bottom middle of the app. That's gonna show all of the sharing activity that you've done, sharing samples, sharing videos, when and if people click on content. But you'll also notice in that first screen there where the feed symbol is, that will also highlight that you hosted a meeting, a live, a shop live. You can tap on that. And what's great about this is it's gonna not only show you the number of attendees, but you'll also see a list of names, who you personally invited and what team members also invited people or guests to the meeting itself. You will even know what they clicked on during the meeting where you're gonna have a report of, hey, you had 12 attendees, and you had this many clicks, and these are the individual's names and what they clicked on. And again, as a reminder, you'll have all the details of who invited them as well so that you can follow up with your team members after the shop live meeting and work with them to ensure that that, that you know, preferred customer or new potential customer was able to effectively uh, successfully place their, their order. This report is also available in the desktop, how we showed you how to log in and, and start the live. In there, you'll notice a button that's called the dashboard. If you click on the dashboard, that dashboard is gonna open up and give you all of the insights for every meeting you host. You'll have all of those you know, analytics and the data that's part of that. So really great stuff here. We know the power and the importance of following up effectively. And we now are, you now that's another great thing about what you're doing here is you're gonna have all of this data, all of this analytics to be able to follow up with all of these people after the meeting itself. You know, it's exciting to see for those of you that have the Unfranchise app up and working, and for those of you that don't have it up yet working on the phone, it's that middle button, it's that green button that says feed there. But notice there how the live stream comes up on your mobile app, and then by clicking on that, you break it down into the attendees, as JJ was saying. But there's also more to this, Jay. Uh, you had mentioned earlier to us. In yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, Let, let's move over. Maybe let's talk about the team attribution and let's go to the next slide and let's talk about, how, you know, maybe some of the, the, the team etiquette best practices that we should be using uh, as we're utilizing the team attribution functionality. Uh, we'll talk about how you can build a, a team of followers and how they can join and be, be aware of when you're hosting a meeting. Uh, but Dennis and, and, and Andrew, why don't you go take a few minutes and talk okay. about team etiquette? Okay, uh, this was important to hit. Uh, each and every one of us have to realize that we want everyone basically utilizing the shop live to do presentations, okay? Everyone, you know, every UFO can do this. They should be, I, they can be small. They don't have to be large and then they're gonna be very effective that way. And that's something that we want to continue to help each and every one of our teammates work with this. Right. Now, but when now we're talking about creating a team and having 
just like what that first diagram showed us, having other teammates plug their guests into your shop live, uh, we give out a strong recommendation that it is something that certified executive coordinators and hire uh, are the ones that are looking into utilizing uh, that feature. So it's not, if you're, you know, just to echo what Dennis said, if you're running a, a, a product preview for um, for your, your friends and family, buy by all means, everyone should be doing it. A, a brand new and franchise owner should be having a, pr a product event on Shop Live. But if you want to start utilizing team attributions and having your teammates plug their guests into your presentations, we strongly recommend uh, certified executive coordinators uh, and hire other ones to do so. Um, and you know the, the reason being is you've now now you've started to grow a team. You're starting to have a little bit more of a leadership role, and it makes a little bit more sense at that point. Now, having said that, that's that's our recommendation. It, could you be in a scenario where, hey, I may have, um, you know, personally sponsored a, um, a, a, a somebody that is a whiz in the skincare market and understands all of our, our ingredients that are in our skincare products? Uh, should we have them uh, create a team and we plug in to leverage them, even if, if they are a new and franchise owner. Uh, it could be so. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. Uh, these are just our recommendations from where we uh, stand with our experience of building uh, an, un an unfranchised business. Um, now, you know, it, it, I, I also, the other thing I wanted to make sure everyone understands clearly is that we do have the 250 attendee limit on each shop live presentation. So on each session, you can only have 250 um, people watching you at the same time. However, you have an unlimited amount of, uh, of team members that could be following your channel. So that, those are two very different things. Uh, you can have Dennis, let's say Dennis, he could have a thousand people, um, you know, and that's an understatement and thousand mm -hmm. people subscribe to Dennis using his team code. But uh, as we go through the rest of the presentation, you'll see how Dennis can selectively send out invitations to uh, a maximum of 250 people that he wants to attend any given one uh, uh, session. I hope that makes sense to everybody. <laughs> Yeah, I think as we dive in and actually start to talk about the process of creating a team and joining a team and, you know, letting the team know when you're hosting a live event, I think this will all make sense to everybody. Let's go ahead and go to the well, next slide. You know, we will. I, I will. And, and listen, again, just following up, be sensitive that we can have a maximum of 250 attendees per meeting. OK, so mm -hmm. sometimes you might have to limit the amount of followers that can join the team now. I understand we're one team, one dream, but don't be offended if you have not been sent an invitation and you heard from someone else, they got an invitation. Please don't get upset. Know that there are different areas on the team that you have opportunity to build to. But then again, as JJ will talk to you, you can have multiple different presentations going on with different groups going at the same time. So. Don't be offended. It's just a matter of the way that the certain individual or leader is building. Okay, now, well, Jay and Dennis, a quick comment on that. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier, you know, this week you and I were talking, and you were saying, hey, I have a great group in Alaska that I'm working with. And you know, you might be a time where you plan on hosting a shop live and you might only invite four or five people, even though you've got you know, hundreds of people that are part of your team, you're going to do targeted presentations where you might do smaller meetings. And so that's, that's a perfect use case. And so we'll show you how to send out a team announcement to everybody to, to participate, but also how you go about doing a more selective approach where maybe you only invite four or five of your team members to participate in a really uh, more intimate meeting. Um, so let's now move over, Dennis, and let's look at, uh, at uh, how we go about creating a team. So those of you, again, we want to make the recommendation that you be a certified uh, executive coordinator to go about you know, creating a team. So to do so, all you're going to do is you're going to click on the bottom right portion of the app. Uh, what that will do is allow you to access your profile. What you'll do right there is you'll then see that there is a new button there that you can tap on Teams. 
That will then take you to the screen that you see in the middle there, where you'll simply tap on my team, and that will allow you to then create what we call a team code. So you can get creative. It might just be your first name, might be your last name. It might be a team name that you're used to using within your organization, but simply create that team, some recommendations to keep it simple. Uh, and remember that it is space sensitive. So if you're, if you're creating a space, you know, I would probably recommend that it be one word or combine it uh, or, or just make sure it's pretty simple. Then you can go about after you've created your team name in the in this in this little simple step then you can go about now inviting people to join your team so first step is create your team within the app by following these steps in the in the settings tap on team tap on my team create your team name and now we are ready to now invite others to to join your team so as we go to the next slide, <clears throat> you'll, you'll do this by just simply selecting the, the copy invite button that's on that same screen. That copy invite is gonna simply copy that to what we call your clipboard. So that, that means is now you can leave the application. I can open up WhatsApp. I could post it on my Facebook group or I could personally invite to one individual. So there's a variety of ways. Now keep in mind, you know, if you want to have this be more close knit, you might want to invite people one on one. But if you say, hey, the more the better, I want to have a bunch of people have the ability to, to stay in touch with me as to when I'm hosting my own shop lives, then you might want to pass that out, you know, in an email, a group email, a WhatsApp group, or maybe even inside of a Facebook group. So uh, then you'll simply paste it. That has the complete instructions for your team to go into their own unfranchised marketing app and join your team. So that right there just shows you the process, copy the invitation, send it out however you like. Now they can join your team, which I believe the next slide will actually show you the process of being able to um, you know, join a team. We'll actually talk about that in just a minute. Now right. that we've done that, we want to now talk through the process of how you go about sharing a shop live invitation with your entire team. So now you've started to grow a, a base of people that are following you. And if you say, hey, I have 200 people that are now following my, my team access code, I wanna invite all of them to potentially participate in this upcoming meeting that I'm gonna host next week. And I have the ability to do that. To do so, all you're gonna do is select, you'll notice there's a new category in the app. And one of the things that maybe I'll point out here um, that, that we, we maybe didn't talk about in the beginning when you open up the app, after you've made sure it's the updated most current version in the app store, you wanna use a, 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 a feature that we have in the app that we call pull to refresh. You're simply gonna drag the screen down and let go and that's going to refresh the app and pull in any updated items, new videos, new PDFs, and that's an exercise we want you to do frequently. But if you don't see the shop live presenter category, all you have to do is refresh the app and it will show up for you, okay? So once you have that shop live presenter category, you'll see your own profile that's there. You can click on that. And then you'll simply uh, at the bottom right part of that page, you'll see that there's a Teams icon. You know, that's how you go about sharing this, but you'll see the Teams icon. And then you can see that there's a send team announcement feature. What this is allowing you to do is promote to anybody that's followed your, your team access code and to announce to them, hey team, I'm hosting a meeting and I would make sure, make sure you give them enough time to build towards that event. You know, I would plan it out a week or so in advance or at least a few days in advance. So that allows your team members to have enough time to invite their own guests to the meeting. So all you have to do is send team announcement. You'll fill in the details, the date, the time, uh, you'll make sure you'll make sure you you include the time zone that that's going to be in because you might be building in, in multiple time zones and then you simply select send. So what happened there, guys, is all 200 or however many people are that are following your group would have just received an announcement with the 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 notice of hey I'm hosting a live and you're invited to promote and promote it and bring your own guests to the meeting. Andrew, I think you had a comment. Yes, uh, you know, so I just wanted to make sure that everybody heard um, what, what you just said, um, that when you use the send the announcement feature, 
it sends it to everybody that is on your shop live team. Um, so, you know, it's not a selective uh, process. And, you know, JJ, I believe in, uh, you're going to show us how we can do it selectively. But I want to make sure everybody understood that. If you're using the send the announcement feature, it goes to everybody that is following uh, you. Now, having said that, on the previous slide on how you invite, um, how you invite people by sending, by sending your message and giving them the instructions, there's nothing stopping someone from taking this message and sending it to somebody else to invite them to join on. But this is where, you know, we would like to plug in another one of the team etiquettes uh, 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 features here, uh, uh, team mm -hmm. etiquette recommendations here is that treat this as, you know, this is somebody, this is Dennis's contact number. Um, you, if you want to share this with a teammate, by all means, that's great. But make sure to check with Dennis first, because you wouldn't share his home address or his contact number uh, without asking him first, right? So we want to treat that the same way uh, and be respectful of Dennis's uh, uh, channel and the bandwidth that he's got to deal with. Mm. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> I have, all right. So yeah. now we talked about how we go about creating a team, allowing people to follow your team, how you announce to the whole team, how you go about, you know, you know, participating in a shop live. Now let's talk about how we might send a, uh, an invitation to a select number of team members. So like I mentioned before, Dennis was telling me about he's got a whole new, new team of people that are, are fastly growing and he might want to host a meeting with three or four people. Simply include that invite to invite them to say, hey, I'm hosting a meeting. This is the date and time that it is. And then make sure that they have followed you in the app, followed you and joined your team. So include, hey, this is my team name. Make sure that you follow me. And then this is the time that we're going to go live. Then they will be able to build towards that and then invite people through the app. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute, how they go about sharing his live event in the app itself. And so that's how you go about doing that. Think of that as I'm personally inviting them through a text message, through a WhatsApp message, through a Facebook messenger message. I'm just simply inviting them. Hey, I'm Dennis, I'm hosting a meeting, join my team, this is how you do it. And then here's the time that we're gonna go live. And then um, th there will be some uh, you know, simple instructions for them to be able to follow as you copy and paste that into the uh, invitation to participate in that meeting. Let's go to the next slide, Dennis. And let's talk about now how we invite people to join a team. So what this is, is again, I've just received the uh, invitation from Dennis. I'm gonna have follow these instructions. That's part of the, the script or the text message that was provided to me. All I'm gonna do is select my pro profile. I select the same area teams, but instead this time I'm selecting the join a team. And then I'm simply entering the team code. You know, and so there's gonna be literally hundreds or if not thousands of team codes that you know people are, are using within the application. As you receive those invitations to join a team, you might be able to join multiple teams, you know, so that you can stay in touch with, there might be Andrew going live or Dennis or Jim or anybody that's part of your organization. Make sure you, you know, you, you, you'll be aware of and maybe receive multiple invitations to participate. And so you can follow an unlimited number of, of uh, leaders so that you can stay in touch as to when they go live. So that, that shows you that process. It'll provide you a, a, a success screen or a confirmation once you join the team. So, you know, congratulations, you're now part of the team. And that's how you go about joining a team. Any questions on this, Andrew or Dennis, or comments? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, so JJ, can you confirm something? When what? So when I join, uh, I can join as I can join as many teams as I want, and each person, each person that I'm following, they'll show up on the on on that section there where it says Shop Live Presenters, right? So they'll show up on that on that real. Yes. Now, do I get a notification on my phone anytime any one of them starts a Shop Live uh, presentation? Great, great comment. I'm glad that you brought that up. Absolutely. So as you as we went through the process before of how somebody goes about sending an announcement to their team, you'll actually receive a push notification in the app alerting you, hey, Andrew's going live. This is the date and time of the of the meeting. And then you could will be prompted to then go ahead and share his live. You'll notice in the far left screen, the first category at the top says shop live presenters. What that area basically means is those are the specific teams that I'm following. 
right? So I have followed three different teams that are part of that, that section, which means when I receive the invitation to share their link through the push notification or through a, an individual text message that, from Dennis, hey, I'm hosting a meeting this Friday night, here's the date and time, then I simply open up his shop live presenter button or link and I insert the date and time and send it. That's as simple as it is. We'll also show you a depiction of how that works inside of a, an alert that you'll receive in the feed itself. But I'm, Andrew, great comment. I'm glad that you brought that up. Great. So just so I'm understanding that correctly, if I follow 50 people um, and, and you know, if, if I didn't get an invite to join any of their shop lives, I won't get the notification. I only get the notification when I get the invite. So you, it, yeah, it's, you have to first have followed their team. Mm -hmm. And then that team leader would have had to go in and send a team announcement to the whole team. Hey, I'm hosting a live. If you want to build toward that, that event and invite your own guests, you can do so. But you have to first follow the team at join the team access code, and then you'll, you'll receive those important alerts. Great. Thanks. I just want to make sure that my phone doesn't get uh, uh, spammed up if, you know, 500. No, it won't, it, no I think, it, you know, you, you, you'll actually love to see those announcements. You won't get too many of those, um, you know, so so th that's great. So now let's go to the next screen if we okay. can. Oh, one other comment, Dennis. Yeah, yes. One comment and uh, just want to address this. There was a question that just popped up that makes that makes me want to bring this up. It's about setting a meeting. The question was, how do you set a meeting? Well, the first thing I want to remind you that we just showed you how to make an invite. So that basically invites a person to a meeting. And we talked about setting up the meeting prior to actually having the meeting. So uh, JJ, correct me if I'm wrong, you can set up the meeting, the product selections, and you can, it will save for at least five days. Is that correct? Yeah. And it will depend on your computer. It might be longer, but at a, at a minimum after, you know, five days that will, you know, but within five days, you're going to be able to see the pre-selected items that you've saved. And, and if you go back in and if you plan on hosting a different meeting, you know, maybe promoting instead of is isotonics, you're going to promote, uh, TLC or whatever other brand, you're going to have to go in and delete those right. and replace those in so, advance of the meeting. Mm -hmm. Let me talk this through. So for instance, on July uh, 21st, I'll be doing a wellness uh, mm -hmm. presentation on Shop Live, and I'll select specific products that I want to promote towards general wellness. Now, based on that, I can send the invites out now for July 21st, but I may not go in to set up that meeting until July 18th or 19th, correct? Or even the morning of. The you morning know, of. Yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I want that for you to understand, you know, out there in the field. So you send out your schedule on when you're going to do it and you come back and you set up pre-select the products. Then you just close it out, you end it. And then when you come back in, it's basically going to be there for you, correct, JJ? Correct, exactly, exactly. you nailed it. <laughs> All right, good. All right, so also, do these record when we do the meeting? Are they recorded? Good. Very good question. I knew a lot of people would ask about that. In this initial release, there is not a recording feature. Uh, that is something that we are working on and will become available in time. Uh, so can you imagine the power of that, being able to host a meeting and say, hey, Dennis, I know you couldn't make it last night. Don't worry, here's a, here's a recording. With the interactive buttons that they could, they could engage in and buy from would be part of that experience. But that's coming in a phase two. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, recordings will be something that we look forward to releasing in due time. So attend the international convention to learn more. I'll just say that. Um, yeah. The other thing that I want, I didn't get a chance to be fast enough when we were talking about uh, the beginning stages of actually holding an event. Um, I want to remind everybody that you can use your coupon code, you know? So yeah. if I'm doing a, uh, whatever, a TLS weight loss uh, uh, seminar, and I basically want to offer something, uh, you know, of a discount, you know, I can basically use the MA 10 code and just put it in my chat and they can 
basically utilize them when they check out. No, one, one, one comment on that. So if you do plan on promoting a discount, you know, an offer like that, which I think is a great way to, you know, a, 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 some type of incentive or promotion during your shop live, make sure that when you send the invitation to your team to participate, that they also turn on that, that coupon. Ah, code, right? Beautiful. So, so it, when you're sending that out, because what's great about that, if you go back a slide or two really quick, Dennis, I think we okay. could, it would be smart to point that out. Um, go, go back to the slide of inviting to the team. I think it's uh, two slides back. This one. So okay. when we're, when we're um, one, one forward for me. Okay. In this case, where I'm sending out a team announcement to everybody that I'm hosting a meeting, in that four screen over, I can tell everybody, hey, I'm hosting a live. This is what we're going to be covering. We're going to be talking about TLS, uh, you know, uh, health and wellness you know, training and, and product overview. And then you could say, hey, as part of it, I plan on, you know, you're promoting a discount. Be sure to go in and turn those code, you know, those promotions on. But, you know, that's something that you'll want to include in this step so that they follow that uh, instruction. Okay, thanks. You know, I just needed to ask the questions while they were on my mind there, partner. Thank yeah, you I love it. Let, <laughs> let's move forward. Now we've talked about, um, you know, now sharing a, a leader's, shop live meeting. A couple of things that I want to point out here. We've kind of described this. When somebody, a team leader that you follow, they'll send out an announcement through the app. You'll receive an alert. It'll show up as a push notification, as you can see there. It will also show up in the all important feed that we talked about, right? Mm -hmm. I can tap on it and view the details. And that's where we will receive, hey, this I'm hosting a, a TLS uh, overview, product overview training. Uh, we're going to be doing it at this date and time. And there might be even a reminder in there that says, oh, by the way, make sure to turn on your coupon codes, right, in, in there. And then I'm going to say, okay, perfect. I can tap on that where you can see the red highlighted. It will then allow me to go in and share that person's event with my guests, okay? So it's a really important that you share in order for the team attribution to work. If I want to plug into Dennis's training on, on TLS, I need to make sure I follow the steps in the app, sharing from the app in order for the team attribution and so that I personally get credit for anybody that I personally invite through the app. Then I simply select text message. I then invite that person over. I'm going to insert the date and time uh, that, I was, that I was given notice of. Hey, this is the date. It's next Friday. This is the time, 7, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And then I send that off to them. Uh, another reminder that I would like to really recommend like you would normally do if you're hosting a, a meeting in your home, for example, you might want to send a reminder the day of. So if you send out the invitation three or four days in advance, send a little re reminder now. Hey, so excited to see you tonight, you know, on the live, you know, just as a, again, a reminder, it's at this time, this is the link. You can go ahead and just resend that to those people the day of. You'll see a much higher uh, turnout rate, you know, if you're reminding your guests to come, you know, a few hours before. Beautiful. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Story. So that's the simple process of how I receive an alert, how I go about sharing the live. Again, you're going to make, make sure that you're sharing um, from either inside of the feed or where it says shop live presenters on the homepage of the app. I can just select that and share from there as well. Let's now um, go on, Dennis, and see, is there, is there, uh, I think, yes, we also want to just, this is kind of the, 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 the add-on of a, a, maybe a suggestion. For tonight, special feature. Yes. <laughs> so outside of Shop Lives, you might want to still use that incredible team announcement feature. You know, you grow your following of team members that is following you. You could absolutely use that send a team announcement for your own personal needs, Hey guys, there's a training. Don't miss it. We're going to be, this is where you're going to go. Or hey, reminder, make sure that you buy your convention tickets. Uh, this is the details of where you're going to go to do that. You, there's so many different use cases. Hey, remember, let's finish the hard, the, the week, the week strong. You know, let's take advantage of, of, of uh, you know, the last few days of the week. You know, the, anything you want to send to your team, anyone that's followed you, you can go ahead and again, follow those same steps. And then you're simply going to add whatever you want, whether it be a, a, a link to a Zoom training, whether it be link a link to go and purchase convention tickets. It could be any number of, of reminders or communications that you might want to share with your team. 
You can send as many of these as you want without a cost. It's, it's free. Uh, and it's a great way to be able to communicate with, with, uh, with your entire team. So that's a kind of a, 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 a new feature um, that you guys will love to use if being able to send a team announcement um, through the app as well. That's going to be great for our new products and the product specials that we put out. Yeah. I mean, you yes. Know, think about what's coming up. It's so exciting to see that you can connect so quickly. And again, I'm just reinforcing what you said. Remember, when you're using that team attribution, once you have that set up, you're working it out of your mobile app. That's how you're going to send the communications out. Uh, that's very, very important to remember. Go ahead, Andrew. Right. Well, there was something we still did not mention um, or speak particularly to is that can we send, uh, can we get someone to join our team that isn't in our organization? Or can we join somebody's team who, who we aren't financially connected to? Uh, and the answer to that is yes, we just need the team name, and the team code, we'll be able to join uh, the teams. But do remember uh, the etiquettes to keep in mind uh, as we go through. Uh, folks, there were some great questions uh, in, in the Q&A. Uh, we apologize if we missed anything in the chat. Um, and, you know, we're going to, uh, Dennis, is it okay if we take a couple minutes? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's take 10. Let's go ahead and get 10 of them. <laughs> well, this one came up uh, a, a, a couple of times if somebody attends a shop live uh, presentation but they are not registered at a, as a preferred customer yet um, will they will the purchase still go through um, and will it still count for you and uh, JJ do you want to take that yeah it, it absolutely will so they'll just go through the process of selecting the products that they want to purchase and just like they would normally do they would create an account and again what's great about this is because of the attribution functionality when they clicked on those links it carries with it your unfranchised owner so they're shopping within your own website so as they create their account you will get credit for that new preferred customer being a part of your your, your team or your organization Right. That's, that's so powerful, Andrew. You know, again, there's so many times people see the product and they go to shop live, shop.com, I'm sorry, and don't go to the specific URL of the unfranchised owner. And this is why this is such a powerful tool. If they are not registered to you, they will become registered automatically with the purchase. So that's great. Yep. yep. Right. And 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 on, on top of that, there is you know the option. They they will be sent to your unique website. And if they want, they have the option to check out as a guest uh, as well, like how it, it usually is. But my recommendation is if you are inviting somebody uh, to join your shop life presentation, take a moment to set up a customer account for them uh, ahead of time, um, so that you know after when when they see the product that they want, they can go ahead and buy it. They've already got their password set up um, and you know it's it becomes a more seamless uh, transaction that goes through good point uh, thanks for that uh, Dennis and, um, and, and and JJ uh, here's another one uh, are we are we able to feature shop global products as well um, and I believe Dennis the it, it, the answer is no due to uh, the the reason being of it's a personal consumption website but maybe uh, can you know you're exactly correct uh, the shop global global has not been included at this time only because there are certain products that are not available in countries for sale resale and it is for personal consumption you are correct Great. Thanks, Dennis. Uh, next question. This one's for JJ. Um, do we have the ability or do we see in, in, in potentially a future update the ability to have a virtual background like Zoom does? <laughs> oh, that's a great idea. Uh, in fact, that's not the first time I've had that request. And that is something that we will definitely take that feedback and look to provide that, that opportunity. That would be, it wouldn't be awesome to have a branded background um, that you could, you could use. So yeah, great feedback. And, and that is absolutely something that we could look towards uh, including in one of the updates. And we talked about this last night, guys. This is, this is just the beginning. This is going to evolve as we get feedback from you like this suggestion, we're, we're gonna consider that and, and continue to improve this. And so this is just the, the beginning of, of this amazing tool the way it is now and that will continue to enhance it over time. Great, thanks JJ. Uh, 
And, and, you know, to piggyback on top of that further, I know on the, this is just the beginning. Here's the other, another question. Um, can, will eventually, will attendees eventually be able to uh, talk and show video like in Zoom? Very good question. So in, in this first release, this allows for um, the ability for the host or the, the shop live presenter to present and they will, that's a video obviously and audio. You can allow your guests to use audio to interact with you. So you can go ahead and turn on the audio uh, functionality. You'll see that in the interaction component of the, of the technology where you can allow them to, 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 to use audio and ask questions and engage. Uh, in the future, we do plan on, on supporting two-way video. Uh, for smaller meetings of less than 250 people, we will be, you know, and allowing in an updated release that will come in the next few months. You know, we look forward to, to uh, allowing for two-way video as well. Right. Folks, there's a lot of um, information that we're getting out of uh, JG and Dennis from tonight's meeting that shouldn't be out in the open. So this is uh, some great <laughs> insight. <laughs> but you know, on that we are, oh, we, we, you know, when we talk about two-way video, we're also talking about the idea of allowing co-hosting um, as well, right, JJ? So that's yep, that would that's a that's a future um, release that we'll be you know announcing at some point here in the near future um, the ability to be able to co-present that that will be great I mean the test from testimonials or maybe two leaders are hosting at one at one time there's there's a, a lot of use cases of how that will be helpful so not in this version but in the in the future it's something we're working on I do want to jump in and just say one thing. Folks, use what we got. It works terrific, you know, and it's great to know that there's more to come. But the bottom line is everybody can use this now and move forward with it. And, and you know, I want to just thank you, Andrew, and I want to thank you, JJ, for spending time. And, you know, it's great to have all of you unfranchised owners taking time. Now, remember, on Unfranchised News, you've got some tremendous uh, information in regards to your shop live for your specific country. You also have the ability to go to the Learning Center. We now will have these recordings up, you know, for you to be able to work with, uh, you know, on our Market America YouTube station. So we're very excited about all of this. And uh, JJ has pulled up his uh, um, uh, shop, uh, uh, un, uh, I'm sorry, unfranchised marketing app uh, to let you know that there are some great tutorials right on your phone, on your app. Yep. Yep. You can see the entire category. There is a shop live training category in the app. There's a variety of different PDFs. All of the visuals that we showed you tonight as part of the training, if you want to go in and read these. These are available in all international markets. There are also really some really great videos that you can go in here and just watch these videos, um, the little short little snippets that you can follow. Uh, again, so this is a great way. Make sure you, you, you are aware of the shop live training category that's now part of the unfranchised marketing app. And again, you'll want to make sure that you pull to refresh this part of the app. If you do not see these categories show up, simply pull to refresh and those will show up for you. So important reminder, these resources uh, are, are right here available to you. Make sure you're checking those out. Thanks, JJ. All right, team. My, my final comment, uh, folks, is that, uh, you know, I hope this information that you've learned tonight um, does not uh, uh, scare you or, 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 or confuse you in any way. Um, I've, JJ, Dennis, and I, we just had a little bit more time with it. That's all. Um, so the more time you spend using it and the more you think about it, the more it'll make sense. And it's, it's very user-friendly and it becomes very intuitive um, as, as you apply it. So I just wanted to make, make, make sure everyone's comfortable with where they're at and great things are coming. Thank you. All right, team, let's get to that next chapter. Let's get out and build and reach those goals you set. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Thanks, everyone.